Good afternoon. I'm Scott Mulway, back with you again. Uh, I am the vice chairman of your Burke County Commissioners, and I'd like to welcome you to another version of our item of fireside chat. Once again, uh, we are here with my county manager, Brian Epley, and we're excited today to talk about, and I like this first slide that we're going to talk about, dollars and cents in public education. Uh, the last fireside chat, we talked about a little bit about jobs, touched on that and the mega site. But uh, besides job creation, one of our biggest responsibility is education. And one of our biggest line items as a county commissioner is funding the schools. And I have a personal background before we get into the slides that my mother's a retired teacher. My, my grandmother was a retired teacher. Uh, my grandfather, W.A. Young School, was named after my grandfather. because So I have come from a long line of public educators. And I know the hours that, I, that they worked, the hours that my mother did, outside of the uh, school setting, the hours she put in on weekends. And, and I know how important education is, not from just a public policy standpoint, but from a personal standpoint. And so I'm excited today to talk about how we approached funding in the last year. And um, I'm gonna turn this uh, over to our county manager, Mr. Brian Epley. Good to see you again, my friend. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thanks for the, the uh, another opportunity to share uh, uh, some good news. and. Um, we started here with this, this concept, uh, really our entire budget this year was framed on um, being, being priority driven. So last March in 2023, the Board of Commissioners uh, met for a two day working session and, and really um, collectively worked together to draft a strategic plan that, that uh, on what, what are the top areas of public policy that they want to, um, um, to, to invest into to try to make a difference in the community. Uh, given their responsibility, and, and so we, we entitled our, our budget document this year "Thinking Dollars," uh, which which help uh, you know, obviously fund and, and give uh, some 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 resources to these areas, but with sense. And, and what what makes the most sense, and how do we leverage that in the most way? So so one of the areas um, um, back at the beginning of um, March in 2023, when the board of commissioners uh, were meeting for a two-day policy work session. Uh, that really jumped out was the functional allocation to pu public education. When we benchmarked against some other counties in North Carolina, we noticed that that, um, that percentage of our budget, that functional allocation was much lower. And, and the Board of Commissioners really took exception to that and wanted to prioritize that area of the budget uh, and set some ambitious goals. And they, they primarily wanted to make sure that we were able to move towards being more competitive in our operational funding to the school system. They secondly wanted to prioritize classroom teachers and the folks that make a difference in, in young people's lives. Uh, and then lastly, uh, they wanted to put dedicated uh, effort into improving our student-teacher ratios and classroom sizes. <clears throat> and before we, we get too much deeper, we'll start with some positive news because the short story is we were able to obtain, uh, accomplish those goals uh, in, a, in, in one budget cycle. Uh, so when I, when I look at our 23-24 budget, just to provide some highlights, um, obviously in 2024 we were able to reduce the tax rate from 69.5 cents to 56 cents. Uh, that's about a 20% reduction in the property tax rate. Um, the offset to that was um, the average um, homeowner's tax bill went up about $1.90 per month. That, that was about the impact. However, even though there were marginal changes uh, in tax revenue, um, the emphasis and the priority that the board put on public education, we were able to prioritize that and increase educational support and funding by 25.7%. Uh, and, and, and that is, uh, that is certainly meaningful. I've worked with Dr. Swan and, and, and members of, of his organization and the school board, and I know that that's propelled them to be able to accomplish some of their goals uh, that, they, that they otherwise would not have been able to. Uh, and then secondly, uh, that subsidiary, not, nothing to do with public education, but I think a huge component of how the budget was managed. We were also simultaneously able to increase uh, funding to public safety uh, by 12.7%. So some of our data compilation for the schools that led to that prioritization was looking at uh, our, the, the, the percentage of our total budget that goes to public schools. Uh, we looked at local teacher salary uh, supplements. Uh, we looked at classroom sizes. We looked at supplies that students were able to obtain in the classroom. And, and at every data point we looked at, uh, we were really suffering. And, and that's, um, th that's easy to understand when you, when you put into perspective uh, roughly in North Carolina, there's about 115 local education authorities. Some cities, um, Hickory, Ashboro, some cities still have school system in all 100 counties. So there's about 115. Um, and, and prior to this year, um, Burke County ranked 95th out of 115. 
um, and, and local funding to the school system. So um, um, that, all th these data points that show um, a lack of resource allocation are really uh, compounded when you consider that, that, that ranking. Um, so here was the, the, the executive summary for this past budget. We were able to provide $20 million to Burke County Public Schools. That was an increase of $4.2 million. That'll be reoccurring. Uh, and that equates to about a 25.7% uh, increase, um, which is certainly material and meaningful. And, and it's, it's, a, it's a direct investment into what the future can be. Uh, both with the relationship with the school and the partnership between the county commissioners and the school board, as well as into uh, the outcomes uh, that we can expect from our students here in Burke County. Uh, so I'll turn it back over to you. Those are just some quick highlights of what was I consider an exceptional budget process and highlighting um, the board's commitment to public education. Well, and I, I want to thank you and, and the staff once again for um, uh, all the work that you've done and it allows us to make these um, aggressive decisions because uh, school funding we've been woefully behind for some time because we had some budget constraints but as we've talked in the past even on a fireside chat we finally we've got we're in the best fiscal shape we've ever been as a county and as an entity going back in the history of it you can pull the numbers and so it's given us the uh, financial flexibility to uh, specifically target areas that we've been in the past unable to do all the things that we wanted to do. So a 25% increase in public education is tremendous. Um, we're going to continue the momentum going forward. Uh, as we know, um, public education obviously has a la lasting impact on everything we do uh, moving forward. And as people go through their life cycle by having that quality education, um, it impacts their, their uh, results. Mm -hmm. Uh, for the next 75 years. So um, making that financial commitment is a financial commitment like on many of the processes that we do. Uh, we're looking 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 years down the road and see what the financial impacts are. And so the data tells us this is one of the areas we need to concentrate and uh, we're doing so. So uh, I appreciate all this timely information. Uh, I would ask uh, anyone that um, wants to see any other uh, topics discussed uh, here on Fireside Chats, uh, please uh, reach out to the county offices. Uh, Kay Drone can uh, 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 take those in and um, we will consider talking about any subject that we consider timely and important to the taxpayers of Burke County. So uh, once again, thank you for watching today and uh, we'll be back for another Fireside Chat in the near future. Thank you.